What's up y'all? Welcome back to another video on the Before the Storm channel. It's been a long while since I posted, but we're gonna be doing so many things to the Civic. I can't wait. Let me just go downstairs and show you guys what we're doing. All right, so now that we're in the garage, I have the car right here and it's on jack stands right now. Today I impulsively just bought everything. So yeah, I decided to work on the Civic today. So we're gonna be taking the headlights off and restoring these lenses. They're pretty clear, I would say, on camera, but in person, they're yellow and kind of foggy. So I want this to be perfect. These are OEM headlights. Let's try to keep that. I don't want to buy any aftermarket ones because your boy kind of broke right now. The second thing I bought was some wiper blades, 20 inch and 18 inch. I got that off Google. I don't know if that's the right size. If it isn't, then I'm kind of screwed because your boy did not get a receipt. But these are only like 20 bucks for two, so that's not bad. So whenever I'm using my wipers, it seems like the motor is going out. I thought it was the motor. I guess it is. This thing has so much play and it just moves everywhere. And this is what I bought. Apparently when these go out and are worn, you'll have a lot of play with your wiper arms. This seems like normal play. I don't know if it'll work guys, but we're just going to sell it anyways. Damn, this lighting got me looking like Michael Jackson. So what your boy got right here is something very important because all of the boots on my brake calipers, just the front ones are all ripped up. That, that thing looks like my underwear right now. Tobey Maguire when he fought the Green Goblin, like that's how my shit look like right now. But look, we not done there. I got me some brake caliper paint. I don't know, th this is probably enough just for one. That'd be funny if it was, but I think it should be good for two. So we're gonna be painting the brake calipers black and your boy got the primer as well. And your boy going back to back. We got a lot of stuff in this video. Next, I'm gonna be doing a fuel filter. Filter. Next, I'm gonna be installing this fuel filter. Dang, I can't even say it now, bro. The filter I went with was by Canon. I think this is the only filter that I saw. And I've been stalling on this because every time I come home, I just keep forgetting to bring the tools to do it. So I'm not really sure what to start with first. Uh, I might just start with taking the front bumper off so we can get the headlights and start peeling apart these old glue. Here's how my interior is looking. Damn, I'm so lazy right now. I kind of just want to go take a nap. <laughs> well, we got to get this done. I really need to buy a new grill, guys. I messed this thing up so bad. We're going to start fresh with the front end later on. All right, let's see if we can see a bolt. Oh, shit. Okay, I guess it did not zip tie anything. Nice. You know, it looks like I could have just taken off these two 10 millimeters. I'm not really sure on what this is right here. Is this like the HIV or something? Can I just twist it? Oh my god! Shit. There goes my headlight. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I can just JB weld this back on there. Yeah, look how crusty this shit looks. It looks like someone's boogers in here or something. You know, there's things that I've done that's worse than that. I actually put a hole in the transmission once and had to fix it with JB weld, and it worked. All right, so we gonna start with the headlight that I dropped on the floor. So I don't really know what I'm doing. We're just gonna, you know, hit this with the heat gun and pray to God I don't melt anything. Look, guys, we're almost there. I'm on this stroke of my thing is looking clean. Actually, I think it won't be a bad idea to try and restore this too. Maybe I should paint it, huh? Nah, I, I don't want to be too extra. Okay, cool. So we got one of the important things out of the way on the list. So probably tomorrow I might start on restoring these, but I did want to get these separated today. Check out these sexy ass brother slip streams. I need to repaint these. I kind of want to get new wheels though. This is so hard to do with one hand, yo. Wheel out. These wheels are extremely light. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Uh, the pads look okay. Maybe I should disconnect this first. We're actually gonna break this by hand. God damn, bro. I think that was a little extra. Hey man, nothing wrong with being too cautious, right? Damn, I just bled the brakes too, man. This sucks. There goes the caliper. Okay, so it was this caliper that I saw this. So we got both the lenses off, both brake calipers off, 
And I think that's enough work done for the day. I've been up since 5 a.m. and I had to work. So I'm gonna call it quits for the day. And we're gonna get back to this some other time. Tomorrow I'm gonna be helping out my cousin Adrian paint his 350Z bumper and I hope it turns out well. I'll post the results right here because I feel like that video is gonna be up first. Well, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Peace. All right, y'all, so we're back and my headlight restoration kit came in and your boy got some time to work on the car. Oh my God, my freaking camera's about to die. So I might have to do this off camera while the battery charges. So here is how the lens looks like before. It's gonna look sexy here in a little. All right, you guys, I am back and I just got done sanding all the headlights. You just go with 400 grit and then you do a thousand and two thousand. So I got most of the yellow stuff out and now I'm about to apply the clear coat that it comes with. I actually want you guys to watch me do this in real time. There's like a dramatic difference. I'm gonna take my rag here, pour even amount on it. I think I'm pouring a lot, but they said the more the better. Swipe it. If y'all want a link to the headlight kit I use, it will be right here and in the description as well. Pick you up some, I'm not sponsored by them. I just wanted to try it out, just to try it out. And I guess the results speak for itself. So since I'm rebuilding the brake calipers, I noticed I was missing some of these boots. Here's the part number if you guys are wondering. It was like 32 bucks. Y'all gonna keep seeing this, but I'll see y'all when I see y'all. What's up y'all? Your boy is back and I just got done with the brakes. Off camera, I cleaned them up a little bit and also masked these off. Sun's going down and it's currently about 20 degrees outside. It is cold. It's been cold for no reason and I hate it. We're gonna go ahead and start painting this. I'm really excited. I've been waiting all week to do it, so let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so here's the primer I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using BHT Flame Proof Primer. This is up to 2,000 Fahrenheit. So I don't think we're gonna get the best results here because it is like 20 degrees outside. It's can't ice cold, but I'm praying for the best. So I just got done with the last coat of primer and everything's looking nice and uniform. I just have to wait about 30 minutes and then we can go ahead and throw the base coat on. All right, y'all. It ain't even been 25 minutes, but I just got done eating and it is getting hella dark. So yeah, I'm just being patient and we're just gonna spray this. So we're gonna hit it with the base coat. I went with the color black because I wanted to do something simple. I did want to do copper, like a burnt copper, but I don't know, it's something about black calipers, they, they, you can't go wrong with black, you know? The simple, clean and simple. So we're just gonna go ahead and spray this. Let me put y'all up on the tripod. Yo, tell me why I locked myself out the goddamn house, man. All the shit outside, the garage door isn't working in. It just sucks. Oh, let me show you guys how the Civic's looking like. Yeah, it's still the same. The headlights are in my car, actually. I might buy some new headlights because, I don't know, this, this is this something about them that I can't, I can't, I feel like I can't restore it. But I'm gonna keep on trying and researching. I'll keep you guys updated on that, too. What's up, y'all? <laughs> we back, and my girlfriend's recording. Say what's up, here. <laughs> she's gonna be helping me pump the brakes on this car. We need to do a brake flush. And she's gonna be helping me lead the brakes on the Civic, and as well as switching out the clutch fluid. We're gonna be using that genuine Honda Dot 3. Definitely not AutoZone special. This is what your caliper hooks onto. And I should have took a picture of a before and after. But your boy don't be doing that. I believe it's 17s also. Uh, might be 17 or I think it was a 14 actually. Oh hell no, that's good. Alright, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I got my torque wrench on here too, y'all. <laughs> After a couple tries, trial and error, we got it. Look look at that movement guys. This is not giving me uneven brake wear anymore. All right, y'all, after some long, hard, exclusive, I didn't think that's a word. Okay, there we go. We got the brakes in. Now I'm gonna put some grease. Put it right here. 
get your 12 millimeter bolt. All right, now let's torque the spec. Look at that right there. Why is it moving so much? What the hell? But I think it's gonna stop moving once we get the piston out. All right, there we go. Now we have this caliper done. Let's go ahead and do the next side. All right, y'all, so we just got done cleaning this caliper. Now we just gotta get the brake fluid in and bleed the brakes, and I need to tighten the bleed valves. So since I left the brake lines hanging down and I didn't clamp them off or anything, the master cylinder is low on fluids and we need to top it off. We're gonna top it off fully, actually. This is the sequence we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be doing right rear, driver front, and then driver rear and passenger front. So my beautiful lady, gonna come inside the Civic. It's a little messy in here. It's not dirty in here too. Here somewhere. Oh, why do I have socks in here? Ooh, that's kind of oh, nasty. No. Drew, can you touch the brakes? No. Uh, okay, really? okay, okay. Okay, no, 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 I'm just saying. This is what we're gonna do, right? And I'm gonna say go, and then you let go. One, two, three, hold. You know what I'm saying? All right, babe. All right, go ahead, go. Okay, good job. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I'll be back in a little bit. So we just got done bleeding the brakes. How was it? Now we gotta do the clutch. And look at that fluid. That shit is like black. <laughs> so we're about to get my reaction to how this feels. I already stuck on the brakes. It feels good. Nah, we get oh, the hell toes. no! Oh my god, that clutch. Yo, this shit feels so good. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, we're cleaning the garage. We need to clean the garage. I'll see you guys later. We'll probably do that in another video. I have all this other stuff still. I'm gonna see how long this video is, and if it's not long enough by the time it's done being edited, then I will shoot more content. We have a lot more stuff to do. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. One kiss is all it takes.